Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's lesson, we will talk about one complex DC circuit problem from Cambridge AS Physics past papers. This question is a little tricky one, but a great question to improve your conceptual understanding. In order to get maximum benefit from this video, you can do this question first of all by yourself and then come back and watch the video. For this question, a network of resistors is given to us and each resistor has a resistance equal to 1 ohm. So we can also say these resistors are identical resistors. What we need to find, we need to find the potential difference V across the input terminals, across the input terminals. Or we can also say that if we attach a voltmeter here, for example, across these terminals, so we need to find the reading on this voltmeter. Let's try to understand some basic concepts first and then answer this question. Let's say the EMF of this battery is equal to 9 volts and this is resistor 1 and this is resistor 2. So if I ask you what is the potential at this point, you will simply say is equal to 9 volts and potential at this point will be equal to 0 volt. And if I ask you what is potential at this point, you will also say simply it is equal to 9 volts because this wire is an ideal wire there is no loss of energy there is no loss of potential and potential at this point will be equal to zero volt because again this is the same wire and it is connected with negative terminal of the battery so this is zero volt and potential at this point again will be equal to nine volts and at this point will be equal to zero volt now if we attach a voltmeter across this one the reading on this voltmeter is equal to 9 volts, means the potential difference across this resistor is equal to 9 volts. And the same is true for the second resistor, uh, the reading on this voltmeter also will be equal to 9 volts. Uh, the second concept we need to understand, V is equal to I. R means Ohm's law is simply telling us if we have this resistor, let's say its resistance is equal to R and current passing through this resistor is equal to I, the potential difference across this resistor will be equal to V. So these are two main concepts we need to understand and then we can answer this question. Now as you can see here, current passing through this wire uh, is equal to 1 amps. So we can also say current passing through this wire is also equal to 1 amps. And current passing through this resistor is also equal to 1 amps. Now if we attach a voltmeter at this point, at this point and let's say we attach voltmeter at this point. And so what will be the reading on this voltmeter? So simply you can find out the potential difference across this one is equal to 1 volt and potential difference across this one is equal to 1 volt. So the reading on this one will be equal to 2 volt. Now again let me ask you another question. If we attach voltmeter at this point and at this point, what will be the reading on voltmeter? Now let's say here. So what will be the reading on this voltmeter? You will again, you will say it will be equal to 2 volts. The reason is that if I just move from here to here, between these two points, we just have an ideal wire. There is no loss of energy. There is no voltage drop. So this also will be equal to 2 volts. Now, as we now understand the potential difference of Across this resistor is equal to 2 volts and its resistance is equal to 1. So how much current is passing through this resistor? We will simply say this is equal to 2 amps. And this is according to Ohm's law. If this is 2, we need to find the value of I and resistance is equal to 1. Uh, so simply I will be equal to 
2 amps. So the current passing through this resistor is equal to 2 amps. Now the next step what we need to understand is let's label these points now. Let's say this is point A, this is point B, this is point C, this point is D, this is E, let's say this point is F. Now as you can see here the voltage across CD, across CD we have found this is equal to 2 volts. Now as you can see current passing through this resistor is 1 amps and 1 amp and current passing through this one is equal to 2 amps. How much current is entering into this junction? So according to KCL we can simply say I entering has to be equal to I leaving. I leaving. So it means current leaving is equal to 2 plus 1 so current entering is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 amps so current at this point we can also say is equal to 3 amps now if we attach a voltmeter at point B and at point D what will be the reading on that voltmeter let's say we attach voltmeter here we attach voltmeter between these two points, between points B and between points D. So B, D here. B, D. So that will be equal to the voltage across BC plus the voltage across CD, voltage across CD. So the voltage across BC we can find from here, uh, this will be equal to 3 volts and voltage across CD already we have 2. So the voltage across BD is equal to 5 volt. Now if I move this one from this point to this point now, let's say I move to this point now. So now what is the reading on this voltmeter now? So again you will see the reading on this voltmeter will be equal to 5 volts because between D and E there is an ideal wire, there is no voltage drop, there is no energy loss. So we can say the BD is also equal to the potential difference across BE. And so we have found the potential difference across Cross BE that is equal to 5 volts means potential difference across this resistor is equal to 5 volts so how much current is passing through this one so we can simply find that is equal to 5 amps now look at this junction now so how much current is leaving this junction that is equal to 5 plus 3 amps so means 8 amps so how much current is entering that has to be equal to 8 amps 8 amps. So the next potential difference we need to find across point A and across point E. Let's say we try to attach voltmeter between A and E. So what will be the reading on this voltmeter? So that reading will be equal to the potential difference across this resistor plus the potential difference across across this one. So the potential difference across this resistor will be equal to 8 volts and across this one is equal to 5. So we can say VA E will be equal to potential difference across AB plus the potential difference across BE. Across A is AB is equal to 8 and plus across BE that is equal to 5. So it means the potential difference across AE is equal to this, is equal to 13 volts. So it's 13 volts. Now my question for you is that, now if I connect this voltmeter across AF, so what is the reading on voltmeter? Means what is the potential difference across Cross AF. Again, you will say this potential difference is equal to AE because there is an 
ideal wire there is no potential drop or there is no energy loss so that is equal to 13 volts af and as you can see here if i attach voltmeter here for example here now so this is equal to 13 volts how about across these input terminals that is also equal to 13 volts so we can say 13 volts so our answer for this question is d